What's up, yogis? Welcome to the Zen Den. Today we are playing with the yoga trapeze from Yoga Body Naturals. And we are focusing on strengthening and stretching our hips in hamstrings. Sounds good, yeah? So before we get started, I just want to point out that with this yoga swing trapeze, I have taken the handles off and I have lowered it to about a medium height. So if you do have your yoga trapeze, go ahead and make those adjustments. If not, go ahead and get yourself one. The description is down below, or the link is down below in the description. Otherwise, unroll that yoga mat and I'll meet you back here. Okay, you're on your mat, your trapeze is all set up. So let's get started. We're actually gonna start in a supported downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. So the way I like to do this is take the fabric and make it nice and long, spread it out. Get it up into your hip crease, activate your core and slowly lower down, and then plant the hands and walk the feet back. You might need to adjust the fabric. You wanna make sure it's right below your hip points. And this is gonna be a really wide downward facing dog. So take the feet and the hands nice and far away from one another. Still use your arm strength to push the ground away as you send the hips high and open through the backs of the legs. Feel free to bend the knees here too. And let's take 10 deep breaths, just coming into the body, into the moment and onto the mat. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Softening the mind, opening through the body, lighting up that soul. We're halfway there. Keep that breath nice and strong. Two more rounds of breath. Last inhale. Exhale and open the mouth. Now listen carefully. You can stay right here in the supported downward facing dog or come into a supported puppy pose with me by dropping the forearms Begin to lift the feet and take the knees nice and wide, wrapping, you gotta arch the back here, wrapping the legs around the fabric, yeah? Okay, once you're all set up and you feel like you're nice and snuggled in, go ahead and walk the forearms a little bit closer and then drop the chest down. The forehead can rest right here on the earth. You should feel a really good opening in all of the upper back, the chest, the collarbone area, definitely in those shoulders. Feel free to sway the body lightly from side to side. You will feel one shoulder turn on more than the other if you do that. And take five more breaths here. Making any micro adjustments that you're needing, maybe straightening the arms, Lifting the forehead. Play around here, find what feels good. Two more breaths, really breathing into that heart center, into the shoulders. Last round. On an inhale, push into the arms, start to lift the gaze, hug the chest back towards the forearms and slowly unravel each foot. And then coming back up into downward facing dog. And then walk the feet towards the middle of the mat and just take a nice forward fold. You can cup both elbows, relax the head and neck completely, shake it yes and no, and take three nice breaths here. A 
Last round, sinking a little bit deeper into it. All right, inhale, release the arms, bend the knees, and slowly roll the body up, stacking each vertebra as you rise to the top. Roll the shoulders. Ah, nice opening, yeah? All right, so we're going to come into an L-shaped stance using the trapeze starting on our left foot. So take your hands around both sides of the fabric, extend the foot into the fabric in front of you. And we wanna make an L shape, so make sure that your hips are stacked directly over your right standing ankle. You're flexing through the left foot here. I know you can't see my left foot, but it is flexed. Take a big inhale breath to grow tall through the crown of the head. And exhale to just slowly melt the chest down about halfway. You're going to immediately feel it in your left hamstring. Hoo yeah! Make sure to keep the left leg active and reach through the crown of the head. We don't want to rot. We don't want to round the back here and just fall and sink. We really want to extend and lengthen. Two deep breaths. Inhale to lift the chest and then take the entire left foot and bring it over the fabric here so it's getting hugged right in between the knee. And then you're going to hop the right foot back a little bit and slowly swing the body forward, lifting the front left toes and you're on the ball of the back right toes. You want to climb the hands higher up on the fabric and really lift through the heart here. Use the fabric to find a lot of space between the hip points and the low rib cage. Really lift and make room here. Last round of breath. Exhale to slowly soften the back knee to the ground. Uncurl the toes. And again, lift the heart here. This time you're really going to feel it all along the front hip flexor, down into the quadriceps. One more round of breath. Okay, curl the back toes under and slowly start to lift up. We're gonna pivot to the side of our foot preparing for warrior two. So the foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Before you even pick up this front foot, make sure you hug the inner thighs up and in, really activate through the groin area and then lean into warrior two. The toes should be just gently hovering Inhale the arms out. You got to make the inner thighs work here. One more breath. And then inhale, reverse your warrior. Take it back, reach through the left fingertips. Exhale back to warrior two. Take your time, grab both sides of the fabric and start to slowly lift back up. Coming into that same L shape where we started. From here, we're going to turn the torso to face the side of our mat coming into gate pose. Big inhale, send the fingertips high. Exhale to slide the left fingertips down the left leg as you reach the right fingertips overhead into the fabric. Really find that side body opening here, stretching through the left hamstring. One more big inhale. Exhale and stay, open a little more. Inhale, rise all the way back up. Listen carefully, this is gonna get tricky. On an exhale, you're gonna to start to maneuver your body to face the front of the mat. And then we're on the top of the left foot now, yeah? Exhale to place the hands down onto the earth and use your core muscles to lift the right foot into the swing, coming into plank pose. Now we're gonna get into some lizard core work. So on an inhale, lift the left leg out of the swing hug it into the body, and exhale to step it down outside the left wrist. Inhale to drop the hips as you open through the heart. Exhale to hug the belly button to the spine and send it back into the swing. How, you got that? Okay. Inhale the right leg, exhale, hug it in, step it outside the wrist, and then drop the hips, open the heart. Huge hip opener. Exhale, lift the hips, hug belly button in, send it back. One more each side. Inhale, lift, and plant the left foot outside the wrist. Whew. Exhale, drop the hips, inhale, open the heart. 
Inhale, hips lift. Exhale, engage that core, send it back. Last time. Right foot lifts. Exhale, hug it in and plant. Drop those hips, lift the heart. And now listen carefully, lift the hips again. And we're gonna come into Malasana Yogi Squat. So I like to tent up onto my fingertips. Really again, hug belly button to spine and push off the front foot to then land the left foot down. Slowly maneuver your hips down to the earth. Send those knees nice and wide. Use that elbow connection there to open them a little bit more. And then inhale, lift through the crown of the head. Three deep breaths. Last big inhale. This time open those eyes, plant the hands on the ground, start to send the hips nice and high as you heel toe the feet together and just find a forward fold, Uttanasana. Relax that head and neck and hang. Feel free to sway. Okay, start to slowly inhale, rolling the body up, bend the knees as you ascend to a standing position. I like to call this the yoga zombie. <sighs> All right, let's go on to the other side. So hopefully you're kind of getting the hang of it, noticing that as you come into that swing-like action, really taking a huge opening across the body, that you've got to activate the quadricep so that you protect the hamstring. Alrighty, so right leg goes into the swing. We're coming into that L-leg shape, so we're stacking, stacking the hips directly over the ankle. We're grabbing the fabric on either side, flexing through the right foot. Take a big inhale through the crown of the head. Exhale to slowly lower. Whew, this is definitely my less flexible side. The chest down towards the ground. Remembering that we're keeping a flat back. Energy through the crown of the head. We're not rounding here. Another round of breath. On an inhale, lift the chest up and then tuck the fabric into the knee here. Start to hinge forward as you slide the left foot back. You can just wiggle it back there. You're on the ball of the foot. Fabric is nice and tight in the right knee. Hands climb up the swing and then just gently lift the toe and take a big inhale through the crown of the head, open through the heart. Again, thinking about making a lot of space between the hip points and the lower ribs. Two more breaths. This should feel so good. Another inhale. Exhale to soften the back knee down to the earth. Untuck the toes. And again, two more big breaths. Last inhale. And then taking your time to curl the back toes under, lift the knee, coming into warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So pivoting on the foot and making sure that it's parallel with the back of the mat. And then taking your time to slowly bring all the weight into the swing, activating through the inner thighs, extending the arms out horizontally. Take two deep breaths. Inhale to flip the front palm and reverse the warrior. Exhale, bring it back to the swing. Take your time, start to lift back up and then find that L-like shape. Coming into our gate pose. So sorry I'm not facing you, but you get the drift. We're facing the side of our mat. Our right foot is flexed. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale, the right hand slides down the right leg as the left arm reaches overhead and we open through the heart. Both legs are active here. Kneecaps gently lifting. Another big inhale. Exhale and stay. Inhale, lift all the way back up. We're coming into that tricky move where we come into plank pose. So take your time. Use your drishti, your eye focus as you turn around to the front and slowly plant the hands. Once you get there, we pick up the left leg coming into that plank pose. And you guessed it, we're gonna do those lizards again. So inhale breath, lift the right leg, 
Exhale, hug it in and plant it. Inhale, drop the body, open the chest. Exhale, pick up the stomach and send the right foot back. Inhale, lift the left. Exhale to hug and plant. Inhale to drop and open. Exhale, lift those hips, hug belly in, send it back. Just one more time each side. Inhale, right leg, hug it in, exhale and plant. Whew. Inhale, open. Exhale, lift the hips high, send it back. Use your core to do this. Last one, the left leg lifts. We hug it in and we plant. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, lift the hips, coming into malasana, yeah? So tenting up onto those fingertips, hugging the belly to spine, and then lifting the leg out of the swing, coming into our malasana yogi squat, slowly lowering down. When you get here, reconnecting with your heartbeat. I don't know about you, but mine's a little all over the place, so taking some big, deep breaths to welcome it back into the body. Every inhale growing tall through the crown of the head as the tailbone drops down. Every exhale settling in a little bit more. Okay, options. You can stay right here in Malasana Yogi Squat. Or if you're feeling a little adventurous today, come with me and plant the hands. Let's work into a crow pose real quick. Start to slowly plant the hands, hinge the hips high. Notice how my knees are on the backs of my arms like a shelf here. Once you get here, connecting the legs to the backs of the arms, gaze forward, hug the belly up and in, round the back, slowly shift forward more and more and more and more. Invite the toes to lift for three, two, and set it back down one. Another inhale here in Malasana. Exhale to plant the hands and lift the hips high, coming into that forward fold, heel toe the feet together, and just relax and let it go. Shake the head yes and no. One more big round of breath here. On your next inhale, deeply bend the knees, hug the belly up and in as you slowly roll up into that yoga zombie-like shape. Meeting me all the way at the top into Dasana Mountain Pose. Alrighty, so we're gonna come into Crescent Pose using the fabric. Here we go, so you just wanna get wherever's comfortable for you as far as the height. So I'm a little bit halfway down. Let's step the right foot forward first, coming into our crescent pose like we normally would. So stacking the knee directly over the ankle, really activating back through the left leg, hugging the kneecap up, and you're on the ball of the foot, yeah? And then here we go, you're gonna use the fabric. So actually, yeah, I like to walk my hands up higher to just really find that length that we did in the lower lunge. So inhaling to draw the heart and the sternum up towards the sky. And exhaling to find a little bit of a back bend here. Two more breaths. Do what feels comfortable for you. Last big inhale. Exhale and stay. Inhale, come back up to a neutral position. Listen carefully. We're taking the fabric with us. Exhale, step up into figure four. So you're crossing the left ankle over the right knee. Then you're just going to use this fabric to just kind of support you here, yeah? Three deep breaths, working into that left hip. Maybe just like hang on the fabric here, do what feels right. Last round of breath. Inhale, stand all the way up. Release the left leg and just kind of sway the hips from side to side. Releasing all that. All right, last side. So this time crescent pose, high lunge on the left foot. Step the left foot forward, the right foot goes back. We're stacking the knee directly over the ankle like usual. 
activating through the back leg or on the ball of the back foot. Walk your hands to wherever it's comfortable. Settle in, take a big inhale. Really lift through the heart. Exhale, melt in deeper. Again, big inhale. Exhale. Last time, big inhale. Exhale and stay. Inhale, come back up to neutral. Here we go, we're stepping into that figure four. So I'm taking the meat of the fabric, gazing forward, stepping off my back leg, crossing the ankle over my left knee, and then just sliding the fabric back in line as I lower my body down. So just like in that L shape, we don't wanna round the body here. We really wanna think length through the crown of the head as we soften down through the knees and open through the right hip. Take two deep breaths. On an inhale, come on and rise up. Uncross the legs and just shake the hips out. Side to side. And then we're gonna work our way down to the mat. So finding the ground, we're gonna come into Upavista Konasana. This is wide-legged forward fold, yeah? So if you find that you come into Upavista and um, you're in the wide-legged forward fold and you're, you can't keep the back nice and straight, you're really just rounding here, go ahead and take a blanket or a block or a bolster and just place it right underneath your booty, yeah? So hit pause and go ahead and do that. Otherwise, if we're coming along for the ride, both legs are extended out as wide as comfortable as, as wide as is comfortable for you. We want to gently activate through the legs and flex the toes to protect those hamstrings. Take a big inhale breath, grow tall through the crown of the head. And then really with a lot of control, because this can get out of hand here, you really want to only go as far forward as necessary. Right? So don't let the ego come into the practice. Big inhale. Exhale with a flat back hinging directly from the hips with active legs. We slowly begin to lower the chest. This is totally enough for me. We're all different human beings though, different shapes and sizes with different flexibility levels. So you got to tap into your own inner guide, your own inner teacher and feel what's right for you. You can use the fabric to just gently sway from side to side. We're gonna stay for 10 breaths, so settle in. Enjoy it. With every breath, you can find a little bit more length, and with every exhale, you really settle into that length you made. Using the inhale to locate tension in the body and the exhale to soften and release it. These hip and hamstring opening postures are really great for introspection and reflection and finding when the mind just likes to scurry away. So stay uber present. Using the breath to welcome the mind back into the body every time you notice it's floating away. Halfway there. Three more rounds of breath. Last round of breath. On an inhale, slowly lift the chest. Come back into a neutral position. Go ahead and bend the knees. Take the hands underneath the thighs. And then just windshield wipe the legs from side to side. Gently releasing them. And that's it, yogis. Let's come into Shavasana. So this is my way of taking Shavasana. You, if this isn't comfortable for you, feel free to grab a bolster or a block or anything that makes your Shavasana more special. But I'm just going to lay onto my back 
and un momento, lay onto my back and place my legs in the swing. Just like so. And that's really it. Relax the palms down by your side. If you'd like, you can just gently sway them from side to side. Take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Again, big inhale through the nose into the body. And just let it go. Surrender to the ground beneath you. Allow that short practice to integrate. Continue locating tension and releasing it. Surrendering here in Shavasana. together, stamping the low back into the earth. On an inhale, extend the legs and the arms long. And on an exhale, roll to your favorite side for fetal position, resting your head on that bottom arm as a pillow. that sense of strength and length that we created. Start to place the hand into the earth, slowly lift the chest and come up to a seated position. Keeping the eyes gently closed, lengthen up through the crown of the head. Hmm. And then inhale, bring hands to heart center, connect thumb into Anjali Mudra, the heart. Take an inhale breath for yourself. Take an inhale breath for someone you love. And take an inhale breath for everyone else in the world. Flutter those eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat, for experimenting and playing with this wonderful tool, the Yoga Trapeze from Yoga Body Naturals, for trusting in yourself, for trying something new, and as always, for joining me here in the Zen Den. We'll meet you back here soon.